Welcome on out, everyone, to Finley High School. It is a great matchup here in the track. One final time, these rivals meeting up in track play. It's the Lima Senior Spartans and the Finley Trojans. Welcome courtside, everyone. I'm Kevin Peel alongside Dar Neverdahl here for analysis tonight. We appreciate you joining us. Dar, always exciting to see this matchup between these two teams. We saw a great game earlier this season between Lima Senior and Finley. We're anticipating another one tonight. Oh, absolutely, and as always, you know, this is an I-75 rivalry. It's become a big rivalry between these two teams. You know, we'll take a look at the keys of the game for this one here. Let's look at Lima Senior first. One thing they want to do is they want to speed up this game. Now, the first game was a real close game, a low scoring game. So Lima Senior definitely wants to speed up this game and play their kind of up-tempo game. They want to control the board. They got the height to do it out there as well, you know. So those are a couple things they need to do out there. Attack the basket. That's big for them. If they can get to the basket, they can get some foul shots, or they can get that easy bucket on the inside. That's something they need to do. Let's look on the flip side, we'll look at Finley. Finley has to, you know, need some defensive rebounding, no doubt about that. They can't let these guys get all kinds of opportunities at the basket. They can't make mistakes. And this is a Finley team that only gives up about 10 turnovers a game. So they're very fundamentally sound. They don't make those kind of mistakes. But the big thing for Finley tonight is make these guys shoot over the top of you. Don't let them get to that rim. Don't let them drive to the basket. Make them shoot it from the outside, and then you can control from that. You're going to see a lot of good defense out there, particularly from Finley. We like to do a lot of trapping, that kind of thing. So it should be a good game between the two of them. Yeah, 47-36. Finley was able to top Lima Senior down the road in Lima the first time out. But there's some emotions tonight with it being the rivalry and, of course, senior night. It's a special night always here, and it is for the Trojans. Yeah, it certainly is. And, you know, like I said, a big crowd, as always, for this game. You know, both these teams kind of in the middle of the pack when it comes to the track, but you throw all that out, throw the, you know, scores, you know, schedules, everything out the door. When these two teams match up, you're going to have an exciting basketball game. We can't wait. Lima Senior and Finley, it's coming right up on WOSN. Back here at Finley, Lima Senior and Finley squaring off one final time as track foes and for the 80th time all time. Here's a look at our officials tonight. Tate Mayberry, Mayberry Mac Carafa, and Austin Cape, your officials here tonight for the game. And of course, a reminder, our scoreboard is presented by Webb Insurance Agency, serving Lima and Allen County for more than 100 years with offices in downtown Lima and Bluffton. Here's a look at the starting lineups quickly, and there you can see it for Lima Senior. Moore, Cotton, Addy, Walton, and Hutchins. And then for Finley, Wyra, Bishop, Ernst, Montgomery, Cordonier. Off we go, Trojans in the home whites. Move left to right as you watch it, and we already have a foul right out of the gates here. This will go against Javion Walton, and he picks up his first foul. Well, you're gonna see a lot of good half-court offense by this you know, Finley team. You just saw right there trying to get the ball on the inside. They drew the foul right away. Cordonier accepting the inbounds pass here, had it stripped out of his hands and taken away. The Spartans up the floor, a swoop to the hoop. Would not go from Amari Addy. And now back the other way with some speed here. We'll see if Finley can slow this game down. Of course, Lima Senior trying to play with that tempo right away off the turnover. Yeah, we mentioned earlier on that Lima Senior is 10 and two since they, they opened the season at five and four. And a lot of that has to do with the fact that they've been able to up-tempo this game, a lot of games. Three off the screen, and that one goes through. Sam Ernst drills the three-pointer. He, of course, is a 29% three-point shooter on the season, but he made that one. Yeah, you can't give Finley open looks like that from the outside of the arc because they'll, they're in it every time. Both these teams shooting about 31% from three-point range, but I'll tell you what, Finley's got some deadly shooters from outside. Well, I'm a senior when they lost that game to Finley earlier this season. In January, they fell to five and four, and so that 10 and two roll has started since that loss at home to these Trojans. Brandon Moore backing down. Tough finish there, would not go. And the rebound hauled in by Ryan Montgomery, leading rebounder for Finley. Well, so far, one of the keys that we set, talked about with defensive rebounding, you know, Finley's being able to do that. They're giving Lima Senior just one shot at the basket. And if they can continue that, then it's going to be a long night for Lima Senior. Jake Bishop with the ball in his hands, averaging nearly 19 a game. 
Drives, scoops, and scores on his senior night. Jake Bishop gets an early basket, 5-0. On the Web Insurance scoreboard early on. Yeah, Bishop, like you said, 18.9 points a game. And he's just a steady player out there for Finley all season long. Even when they've you know, had rough games where they haven't shot well, he's been able to manage 18, 19 points. Oh, the three answer for Ja'Kale Cotton. He knocks it down. 35% shooter from beyond the arc, and he nailed that one. Yeah, he shot. That's his 117 three-point shot this season. Bishop weaves this pass out to Ernst. Another triple try off the rim, but Cordonier the rebound. Another try. The bank still open for Luke Wyra. He knocks the three down. 8-3. Finley with a couple triples. The answer is there for Cotton, who's two for two from deep. Well, this may became a long range duel all night long if they keep this up. Well, Finley won in Lima, 47-36 was the score. We're off to a much different pace here tonight early on. Bishop dribble out top. He and Chandler Parker being honored before the game tonight. Deep three would not go for Bishop. Just two seniors on this Trojans roster. Honor the cheerleaders as well in the pregame festivities. Lime senior trying to slow it down a little bit now, just catch her breath a little bit. Addy, the drive, block shot, Cordonier came over to help. Nice defense. And the Trojans now will bring it into the front court with that two point lead nearly halfway through. This opening quarter, another three ball. And off the rim, battle for the rebound. Off the miss from Wyroff. Up the floor oh, and nice. a floater. Brandon Moore notches his first points, leading scorer at 11 and a half per game for Lima Senior, and he has his first bucket there. And that's what Lima Senior wants to do. They want to get that rebound, and they want to get that quick outlet pass, get the ball down the court as quick as they can, find the open guy, get that little short jumper. Cordonier just outside the left block. Gets it right back. Distributes nicely. The extra pass to the corner and an open triple. Not enough behind it. Three missed by Ryan Montgomery. Star QB here at Finley. And three in the air. That one's short. Jagger Hutchins launching from deep, the sophomore. Getting a little three happy at times I, I here in this so. opening period. That's nine three-point attempts already between the two teams. And a three for nine between them. Kicking out to Bishop. Well, I think they feel like that's the best opportunity they've got. You know, open up the middle a little bit. Maybe they can start driving to the basket a little bit more. Stolen away. No numbers, though, for Brandon Moore. The extra pass there, it's a corner three, bang. Ja'Kale Cotton is three wow. for three, He's white hot from three. Somebody Lima needs to get out the there. Lead. You can't let him open out there like that. He's gonna be hitting like that all night long. He's feeling it too because that, that corner shot of his has really just found nothing but net every time. Ja'Kale Cotton has the distance measured from there. Bucket and one for Jake Bishop who's going inside. And he'll have a chance to try and tie this game up at the free throw line. Another look. Wow, nice shot coming off of there too. That was a tough shot all the way around. And there's one thing that Coach Rookie has talked about, Jake Bishop, he's a, such a hard worker. You know, you can always count on him to put everything he's got into the game and he's certainly doing that right now. Second foul on Javion Walton. This is a Lee's famous recipe free throw. Lee's recipe chicken in Lima, Wapak and Delphus. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's famous recipe chicken home style happens here. Free throw good for Bishop. And they get a steal. Nice defense here from Finley. Bishop inside and somehow glassed it in. Was able to extend the arm out and glass it in. Jaquel Cotton down low, cannot finish. Turned in traffic. Finley with a quick 5-0 spurt has regained the lead. And Finley doing a great job on rebounding. 
holding their own against a little bit taller uh, Lima senior team. The coach here keeps telling him, you know, no, spread it out a little bit. We're going to slow it down a little bit. Work it on the inside, see if we can get something going in there. Three ball. And that one clangs off. Rebound there for Cotton. The miss. Brian Montgomery was attempting his second three of the night, and it didn't go. Brandon Moore, nice pass to the corner. One go down, spun out for Isaiah Wilson. And his first triple try. Minute to go in the first already. Yeah, just a early couple fouls in the same so far, but just great ball movement by both teams. And Isaiah Wilson comes up a little gimpy here for Lima Senior. He will hobble off. Again, a reminder, our scoreboard is presented by Webb Insurance Agency, serving Lima and Allen County for more than 100 years with offices in downtown Lima and Bluffton. Of course, tonight's premier sponsor for the Finley Trojans is Finley Truck and RV, your complete automotive experience at competitive prices. Finley with possession here. Under a minute to go in the first. Bishop down low, has more on him. Turns with the oh. left hand and wouldn't quite go off the flange. That's a nice shot if you can get it to drop. Hutchins deep in the corner, lofts this one out. That's an over and back. He and Amari Addy not on the right page there. Turnover. Although not a ton of turnovers in this opening quarter. Just two apiece, two for uh, Lima Senior, two for Finley so far. So now Sam Ernst coming into the game. And he will handle the offense. Again, just what Finley likes to control it on half court offense. They don't, you know, they can run it if they have to up and down the court, but they really don't want to get in the running game with Lima Senior. They're going to run this thing, you know, work, work it around. Whoa. Bishop deep <laughs> wouldn't go. That's the end of the time. quarter. <laughs> he tried it anyway. <laughs> Great first quarter. Finley 13, Lima Senior 11 on the Web Insurance scoreboard. Second quarter coming right up on WOSN. Welcome back, everyone, to the second quarter. Today's premier sponsor for the Finley Trojans is Finley Truck and RV, your complete automotive experience at competitive prices. 13-11, Finley the lead on the Web Insurance Agency scoreboard. Kevin Peel, Darn Evergall with you here in the booth and our hardworking WOSN crew leading the way. Thanks for joining us here tonight for this premier track matchup. Cordonier trying to complete the steal. Can't quite pick it up, still going after it, and finally gives it off for a three for oh. Ernst, and he hit it. Whoa. The effort from Cordonier, and he was eventually able to give it off to Ernst for the triple. That's a five point game. Threes just keep raining in here in Finley tonight. High energy start to this game. It's a little surprising too because, you know, like I said, both these teams are 31% three-point shooting teams. Now, I thought I figured Lima Senior would try to go to the basket a little bit more than they have, but they've been content to shoot it from the outside. There's another three, and that one glanced off the rim for Cotton, tried the other corner. And Finley will keep the basketball. Spartans thought they had forced a turnover there. Ja'Kale Cotton with nine of the 11 points in that opening period for Lima Senior. You know, all Mostly from the, from the arc. Yep. All three of them from the outside and you know, three-point arc. You know, but then you look at Bishop, he's got seven points in that first quarter for Finley. And I mean, he hit a couple, he had one from the outside, but then, you know, they were all long two-point shots and drove the basket a couple times. For Donier three, too strong. Long rebound for Bishop. Great effort there from Bishop down low to grab the rebound. Screen set, strong defensive effort here. Mariatti, give him a run for his money, and now a foul call. Will be on the Spartans here. No, they're gonna call it on Finley. And yeah, 
Coach Rocky asking for some clarification. And that foul going on Bishop, I believe. I think so. A little bit of confusion there. Uh -huh. In any case, ends up as a turnover. Cotton forced it down low. Too many Trojans and a steal. Thought he had Hutchins in the paint. That's the fourth turnover now for uh, Lima Senior. They average about 13 turnovers a game. Bishop lobs it down low to Cordonier. Hutchins guarding. Help defense from Moore. Throws it back out. Cordonier three. Oh, Ooh, nice know Will Cordonier knocks down the three. Finley's up eight. That was a great in and out right there. Believe it or not, Cardonier's shot 64-3 so far this season. Marion Glenn can't answer with a triple of his own. Difference right now, shots falling for the Trojans from distance, not falling for the Spartans. And the Trojans holding their own rebounding. They've got eight rebounds to six for Lima Senior. Oh, again, Cordonier another. They he's have a, it measured from the arc right now. I'll tell you what, for a six foot five guy, he's just, he's a 41% three point shooter. You know, he's shot, that's now 66 threes he's shot this season. That's just incredible for the, you know, for the big guy underneath. Oh, nice pass, and down low, Amarion Glenn won the race to the basket there on that post move. First points for Amarion. Down to nine. Tried to force a pass to Bishop. It was tipped outside, and he still finished with Cotton right on him. Jake Bishop with a strong start as well. Nine points for Finley. Got to get rid of it, and they do to the perimeter. Swung it over to Hutchins. Little stop. Gave it out to Cotton. Brandon Moore, tough shot. Didn't fall, though he tipped the ball, and Hutchins trying to save it near the sideline and cannot. I'll tell you, Kevin, there was some of that, you know, Finley defense that you, they're known for this season, you know, just cutting up guys off, not giving them good opportunities, not giving them clean shots, breaking into the passing lanes, keeping them from being able to get out of there. You know, just great half-court defense. Nearing the halfway point of the second stanza. And all Finley to this juncture. Bishop can't oh, leave him alone. Don't leave him open. That was asking for it. Another three. 14 point lead. Everything falling for the Trojans. Drive and that pass too hot to handle for Anthony Mosley. It's out of bounds. And Finley able to again get the ball back after a Lima Senior turnover. Turnover number five for Lima Senior. Believe it or not, Finley has only shot five two-point attempts and 11 three-pointers. Three happy, but it's working. 14-point lead on the Web Insurance scoreboard. Yeah, you're going to have to get out there and get on Bishop in a hurry. Ooh, near steal. Foul called on Amari Addy. He was reaching. That's his first. That's only the third foul in this game. All are on the Spartans. No fouls yet for Finley. And it's not like it hasn't been a physical game because there has been some physical play on the inside. But it's been a very clean game. For Donier, near the left block, help defense come, loft it out, extra passing. Now Bishop on that left wing will back it out. Bishop driving, kick, open three. That's been their bread and butter. That one wouldn't go, though. Missed by Ben Best. This one whipped to the other side, Glenn. Nice pass. And then they drive, and Cotton, another left side three. Too strong, but an offensive rebound for Mosley. Mosley spins inside, had it blocked by Cordonier. Good help defense. And Cordonier with the block, Bishop. Lofts it off the side of the glass. Best the offensive rebound to Cordonier a three. Oh. Wouldn't go. And 
stepped on the sideline trying to save it in. Amarion Glenn gives it back to Finley. That was a magnificent effort trying to save that one in. A little contact again. We saw a contact, but they're playing on in this they're, opening they're half. Playing, they're letting them play. They know there's going to be a little bit of contact in this game. You've got to let them play. But I'll tell you what, you watch Finley on that half court set right there. You know, the passing, uh, they, you know, they know where everybody is. There's great communication on this team. You know, some of those passes are no-look passes, and they're finding the guys. Really created a steal. Cotton came over to knock the ball out of the hands of Wyraw, but ultimately, then they got it back. Chandler Parker dribbling out top here. That's a five-second call on Parker. The defense from Isaiah Wilson, he was in his mitt the whole time. Yeah, great job by that young man, just to keep him out there away from everybody else. Put him on an island by himself out there and got the five second call. Good defense from Wilson and Spartans are gonna work their way closer before the half. They need to force some turnovers. The speed. Drive for Moore, inside bucket, and one for Brandon Moore. Slicing inside, you know, of a chance for one more at the line. And that was a smart move by Brandon Moore, too, because he looked like he was going to pop it from the outside, saw an opening, went around to get the defender. You see it here on the replay, got his first step around the defender and open look to the basket then. This is another Lee's famous recipe, chicken free throw in line with Wapak and Delphus. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's famous recipe chicken home style happens here. And Brandon Moore completes the three point play. Senior it's down to 11. The press on there now. It nearly worked. Bishop was in a bad spot. And stolen away by Mosley. Now up the floor, here come the Spartans. Inside drive, more tough shot. Wouldn't go down in the lane. Finley. Nicely crammed the paint there in transition. Stop that rush, force a tough shot. Now they can work it around and slow it down a little bit more right now. And they certainly are with 90 seconds left in the half. What a quick first half this has been. Yes. Bishop forced it up, wouldn't go off glass, nearly had the offensive rebound, but it was tipped. And Waira missing the jumper in the paint. And a timeout taken by Coach Q. 27-16, Finley the score here with 1.14 to go in the opening half. And we will also announce that timeouts are brought to you by Metzger Financial Services, helping you plan your financial future. Visit MetzgerFinancialServices.com. We'll be right back. We're going to keep it right here and take a look at the standings. And, of course, Central Catholic playing Clay tonight. Whitmer against Fremont Ross. So those two teams in prime position to potentially tie for a track title. Of course, old rivals St. John's and St. Francis playing up in Toledo at the pit. And there they are, Finley and Lima Sr. Two great programs. Duking it out again here tonight. And not going to win potentially a track title this year, at least Finley not in prime position to do so with Central Catholic and Whitmer having win winnable games tonight. But nonetheless, great seasons again for both these teams. Oh, absolutely. And, and, a, and a key thing for this game here is getting into the tournament. You've got that around the corner. You want to go in with that momentum. Well, you know the amazing thing I looked at that track schedule and stuff is the fact that there's a lot of teams with six, seven, eight losses in that, in that league. You know, it's just such a balanced league all the way around. Yeah. There it is, the first win of the season. Finley won down the road in Lima, 47-36, the first game of the year. They are on somewhat of a similar track to that, although the way Finley started looked like they were maybe going to vault here for 80 points tonight with the way they were shooting the three ball. We'll see if that Spartans defense can stiffen. They have a couple big possessions here before the half to try and cut into this lead. And Finley had opened up to as much as 14. Mosley, nice quick move, and finishes down low. Anthony Mosley, first points of the game, averages nearly 11 and just under nine rebounds a game. Coming off the bench today, and that was a big basket. Yeah, take it down to single digit lead for uh, Finley again. 
Bishop the drive and the controlled finish for Jake Bishop off glass. What a great shot that was. Just continues to have a big half. Down low again. Well, he's that left-hander too. That's a tough one to guard against. And winning that rebound, Cotton. And couldn't hit the jumper though. Down the floor. And in traffic, gets his own miss. And went right back up. Sam Ernst was fouled and is heading to the free throw line. Fourth foul on the Spartans in this half. And that'll be the first on Cotton. Yeah, Ernst has only been the line. He's three for five at the line so far this season, 60%. So he hasn't been there that often. Ernst able to make that one. Free throw sponsor, Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapunk, and Delphus. All Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken. Home style happens here. Just a couple free throws in this first half. Finley now two for two. And senior high, one for one. There's a miss from Ernst. 12-point game. And the Spartans here will look to take the last shot. Handoff out top, but you got to drive. A late pass for Mosley. Too hot to handle off his hands. A turnover. Not much time, though. Unofficially number seven for the Lima senior so far in the first half. And when you work for that last shot, a lot of things can go wrong. In that. And they're just going to take it to the half. They inbound it to Chandler Parker. Finley, a great first half. They lead Lima Senior 30 to 18 as we head to the break. More coming up from Finley High School on WLSN. Welcome back, everyone. Lima Senior and Finley, 30 to 18. A great ball game for especially if you're a Trojan fan through the first half. Trojans with hot shooting through the first half. That's our Web Insurance scoreboard, 30 to 18. Scoreboard presented by Web Insurance Agency serving Lima and Allen County for more than 100 years with offices in downtown Lima and Bluffton. Your quick reaction, Dar, to some of the stats and the first half action we saw. Well, it started out with, you know, you saw a lot of three-pointers thrown up there. Both teams shot 23 shots apiece in that first half. Unfortunately for Lima Senior, they only hit 30 uh, 30 percent of their shots, 7 for 23. Finley was 48%, 11 for 23, but they were six for 13 from, from three-point range for 46%. And that really put them over the top in that. Now, big thing is, is, is Finley's held their own on rebounding. They lead 12 rebounds unofficially to 11 for Lima Senior. Lima Senior turned the ball over seven times, Finley five times. So, you know, if, if Finley can keep this up, you know, and hit those outside shots, pull that Lima Senior away from the middle, then they can open it up for Cardone underneath. We go in the second half. Trojans in the home whites on senior night. We'll move right to left as you watch it. 15 and 7, 9 and 4 in the track. Lima senior 15 and 6, 8 and 5. Stop and pop in the lane. That jumper off the mark from Wyrong. Get it back to the Trojans. And Jake Bishop with 14 points in that first half. You no, know, he earned every one of them, too, because some of those were really tough shots. And a steal. And a lot of contact down the floor. Couldn't make either opportunity he had at the rim. Amari Addy after the steal. It stays a 12-point game. Yeah, that's tough when you get to your opportunities on the inside there and you can't convert them. Cordonier three. Oh, spun <laughs> another one in. Will Cordonier. All three-point shots for his field goal attempts tonight. He's three for five with nine points. Like you said, he's a 41% three-point shooter, and you cannot leave that big guy out there, Cat, because he'll drain it every time. 15-point lead. This is the largest of the game, in fact, for the Trojans. Inside, tough try here for Mosley. Glassed it, no good, but a foul call. Ryan Montgomery, I think, for that one. First on Ryan Montgomery. Just the second foul of the game for the Trojans, as we've even seen on some of these possessions early in this half. Just like the first half, they're letting them play. Yeah, they certainly are. Mosley glances off from the free throw line. 
Free throws sponsored by Lee's Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, and Delphus. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's famous recipe chicken home style happens here. One more for Mosley. Lima Senior now two for three at the free throw line early on in this third quarter. That's their mark for the game. Bishop steps into one. Spun out. And these Spartans fought over the rebound there, saved it in, but to Finley. And Sam Ernst couldn't glass it in. Now we have a foul going the other way. Luke Wyraw on the foul. That's his first, team second. Every single ball near the rim, any rebound, it's a battle right now. It certainly is. And I said, Finley's holding their own on the rebounding, and that's one thing they needed to do in this game, to stay with the Lima Senior team, and they've certainly done that. Three. Oh, well off mark from Cotton, who was three for his first three from beyond the arc to start the game, but now is 0 for his last five from the field, including a couple misses from distance. The senior's really gone cold from three-point range. They really got to get the ball inside now. Maybe in some ways they were trying to keep up with Finley with the way they've been able to hit so many outside shots in this game, but it's just not falling for them tonight. Not at the same clip that it is for Finley. Now, Lima Senior's game has to be an up-tempo, get it up and down the court as fast as you can. Speaking of, Mosley inside, and that one popped out. Mosley went down hard. Rebound chance for Brandon Moore as he wins the ball back. Nice block there by Cardonia again. Inside, contact, and a foul. That one would not fall through for Cotton. And he'll go to the charity stripe. Here's a look. Lyra with his second. Just a little bit of contact there. Not much. Stay down for Cotton. Cotton, a 72% free throw shooter, too. Ball just not dropping for Lima Senior right now. Two for four for the game at the line. Now three for five. Cotton into double figures with 10 points. He is 10 of the 20. Spartans points. Bishop the drive, oh, past Hutchins, out. inside, and spun it in. Jake Bishop with 16 points. I tell you, Kevin, you knew that was dangerous the minute he got that first step around the defender. So quick to the rim. Let's move inside here. Addy couldn't quite finish it off, kicks it out for a three, and nothing there. Airmailed by Brandon Moore. Lima Senior just not able to finish when they get around the rim. They've missed several close-in shots. That they really wish they could get back because, you know, this would be a closer game, but they, you know, they're getting the opportunities. They're just not finishing it off. Drive and kick Bishop off a screen. Cotton closed out on him strongly. Bishop down low near the right block. Cordonier rolling to the basketball. He's money tonight. Will Cordonier, 12 points, four of six from deep. Unbelievable. Inside Hutchins using his height and finishes. Jagger Hutchins off the glass. Boy, they really needed that one too, and that's his first basket of the night. 16 point game though. Finley keeps increasing that lead. 18 now, the highest lead of the game moments ago. For Donier, why not? He oh. checked, and he nailed it. He's making everything now. 19 point lead. And you gotta be impressed. I mean, that's he gets a high arc up there. He gets an elevation. He's up above everybody else, and he's just kind of throwing the ball down to the basket, it looks like. Low for Mosley, had it stripped, recovers. Brandon Moore, Cordon, you're on him, steps into one. And off the front of the rim. That's a tough guy to shoot over the top of. Him. 
just know they're trying to find Will. The basketball, there oh, he is. No. And no, that one didn't go. Looked like that was going to fall as well for Cordonier. Nice feed to the other block. And a low line drive yeah. is in for Brandon Moore, who has seven points. I think Cardoia was way too open on that one there. And who's going to win this battle on the deck? Jake Bishop got landed on and is a little slow to get up. We have a full timeout. 23 to go in the third. We'll be right back. Our scoreboard is presented by Webb Insurance Agency, serving Lima and Allen County for more than 100 years with offices in downtown Lima and Bluffton. Today's premier sponsor for the Finley Trojans is Finley Truck and RV, your complete automotive experience at competitive prices. That was a Metzger Financial timeout. Timeout's brought to you by Metzger Financial Services, helping you plan your financial future. Visit MetzgerFinancialServices.com. Third quarter action continuing here from Finley High School Trojans with a 17-point advantage over the Spartans. Jake Bishop's okay, although he got awkwardly landed on there for the break, which led to a timeout. No, he's too tough to hold down, though. Yeah, he he's right back out there. Yeah, you're not going to keep him out of the lineup. It seems like, you know, Lyman Senior, after that second quarter, where they lost the second quarter 17-7, they've really not been able to cut into this friendly lead at all. For Don, your great drop down to Bishop, who's fouled. Bishop to the line. 84% free throw shooter at the line right now. Bishop is 91 for 108. Bishop with two shots, Finley two for three at the line so far tonight. And that one. Oh, spun out for Jake. Lee's famous recipe chicken in Lima, Wapak, and Delphus. They sponsor free throws. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's famous recipe chicken, homestyle. Nothing's here. One more for Bishop. Much better. Two for three on the night for Jake. 17 points so far for the six foot senior. On his senior night, he and Chandler Parker honored before the game. And He's having himself an evening, as you would expect, almost to his season average of 18.9. This Martin's got to find some offense and find it quick, down 18. And lost it. Marion Glenn had it taken away. Trojans just have it all going on. Defensive end as well. Bishop drive, lost it. I'm a senior to steal. Glenn inside, bucket and one. Glenn created some contact there, went inside, and he'll have one more at the line. Yeah, they finally able to finish off one of those takeaways. Brady Barnes the foul, his first. Glenn trying to cut it to 15. 50%. Free throw shooter, nine for 18 coming in. Which is nearly six and a half a game, does Glenn. Made that one. And he's five tonight. Well, I'm a senior, just has not been able to force the turnovers and speed Finley up the way they would have wanted to in this game to this point. Can no. they with nine minutes to go is the question. No, they have not been able to. And they you know, they've not been able to really cut into this Finley lead. Finley just seems to come up with a basket when they need it the most. Deep corner three, and Ben Best drills another. That's his second three-pointer of the season. He was one for 20, and now he's two for 22 on the season. It's a nice looking three, too. Yeah, deep in the corner, as deep as you could get. Lasser. Not there for Addy. And again, Trojan shutting down the rebounds. You know, one shot now for Lima Senior. And like I said earlier, the, you know, they were missing a lot of in-close shots, just banging him off the side of the rim. 
you know, shots that they should have been able to make and they weren't making them and you're not going to get too many opportunities against this Trojan team. Trying to recover the loose ball. And now it turns into a foul there. Sam Ernst just able to recover it. And the JV on Walton picks up his third foul. Just seems like every loose ball as well bouncing the way of the Trojans here tonight. They're getting on those 50-50 balls or they're heading their direction. Yeah, they certainly are. They're fighting for everything they can. Not give the linemen senior credit too. They're, they're going after every one of them they can too. They're just not winning the battles. The finish for Bishop knifing inside. 19 points for Bishop and the lead is 20. Heading to the fourth, all Trojans over their rival, the Lima Senior Spartans. Fourth quarter coming up on WOSN. Today's premier sponsor for the Finley Trojans is Finley Truck and RV, your complete automotive experience at competitive prices. Big lead for Finley, 47-27. Here as we head to the fourth quarter and plenty of local teams as well with impressive rankings. Of course, you have to factor in not only the Associated Press, but the Martin RPI, which has been interesting to watch how that's all calculated. Yeah, sure sure. Is. And you look at Ottawa Glendor, of course, they're back up there again like always. The Fines having a great season as well, you know, in this area. You know, but all the way down, you know, you know, Ida, you know in the Putnam County League, and, you know, Marion Local, and that, that Mack area down there, they always have a good team coming out of that one as well. So, yeah, a lot of good, good basketball in this area, which everybody always says that, you know, Northwest Conference when it comes to tournament time is the way to go, you know, when you're going to watch any basketball. Kevin Peel, Darn never gone with you here tonight at Finley. Thanks for joining us. And our WOSN crew. Fun night if you're a Trojan fan. On Glenn finds his way inside. Seven points for Glenn. Yeah, five here in the second half for that young man. Now it may get chaotic if this Spartans defense is able to succeed in speeding up the Trojans, but that's just not been the case tonight. Stripped away, and Addy was fouled by Ernst as Addy was trying to break away there from Ernst after the steal. And now you're watching Lima Senior in a little bit of a desperate mode right at the moment, but you know, they're really speeding up their offense and their defense, trying to get the back ball as quickly as they can to get points on the board. Ernst just got a piece of him there. Replay. Unofficially that eight turnovers now for the Trojans. He comes in only giving, you know, averaging about nine and a half turnovers a game, so right on the mark right at the moment. Hutchins, three, splash for Jagger Hutchins. Five points. Finley with the first five, rather Lima Senior, the first five of this fourth quarter. Inside, Ernst, and he was fouled. Got grabbed by Marion Glenn. He is first. Yeah, you're seeing a lot. Of, you know, Lima Senior just going after everything they can now. Relentless effort. Donier thought about a three, instead gave it off. Bishop drive with contact, wouldn't go down. Now a scramble in the backcourt, Bishop Steals it away and gets the timeout. Wow, what a great job by that young man to get the ball. Back. Just a 30-second timeout. Who else but Jake Bishop? As Lima Sr. trying to break out, pokes it from behind, and gets on the loose ball. First one to the deck. What a, what a hard worker that guy is, though. I mean, you watch him play. He is so impressive. He just goes after everything. You know, he, he drives the basket hard, he shoots hard. I just, he just does everything for this team. He's definitely the leader on this Finley team. Of course, the sectional finals next for both these teams. Lima Senior, number four seed in their bracket, their sectional final against 15 seed Fremont Ross coming up a week from tonight. Districts to be played at Millbury Lake High School. And Finley, their sectional final. And just almost seems criminal to me. Finley of five saved Anthony Wayne, who could very well tie for a Northern Lakes League title, be a co-champions in 11 seed. One of those teams is not even going to make it to districts. Oh, what a Whoa. block shot by Addy. 
<laughs> rejected Jake Bishop at the rim. Yeah, Bishop didn't even see him at all behind him coming that way, and he made up a lot of ground in a hurry and slapped that thing right through the wall almost. Gordonier able to help receive that inbounds pass. Ernst. Raw the drive inside, a little contact and a foul. Two shots coming up. And the Lima senior foul. Yeah, you see it on the replay here on the block. He came, came in a hurry, man, just slapped that thing. Good thing for that our cameraman down there, just about took his head off. And Luke Wyrock shooting two. Knocks down the first. There's another 84% free throw shooter on this Finley team. 32 for 38 before he made that one right there. Four points for Luke tonight. Six foot junior. One of the juniors on this roster, six in fact, for Finley. Yeah, just two seniors. This one in and out of the hands of Brandon Moore. The pass a little too hot to handle. Miss cue number 11 for Lima Senior tonight. Some passes they would want back. It is a 17 point lead. Coach Q directing traffic there. Brandon, go down to the other end. Bishop, a tough double team. They, the backboard, Montgomery, that's a 10 second call. And it's going to Lima Senior. Seemed like a quick 10 seconds, but Finley couldn't get anything going towards half court there. Yeah, they weren't anywhere near getting that ball across the court in out towards half court. So good defense again by Lima Senior on that trapping full court pressure. Six minutes to go and a 17 point margin. Spartans have to move in a jiffy. Baseline drive and kick, Cotton a three, hits. Yep. Well, Cotton is fourth three pointer of the night. Timeout taken by coach Quincy Simpson. 14 point game, and just a 30 second timeout. Now that's been his spot tonight on the other end of the floor in the first half when he hit his first three triple tries of the night and then Cotton hits that one. Yeah, they're, they're very good outside shooters on that corner shot and threes. You know, that's a tough one to defend too because you get, you know, they kick it out and you have to get out there in a hurry. Here's a look at that bracket. Lima Senior down there at the bottom with Fremont Ross. Winner of that game plays at Lake against Northview or Bowling Green. Two NLL teams duking it out at Lakota. And of course, to the other bracket, Anthony Wayne and Finley. St. John's Tiffin Columbian could be an intriguing sectional final game before they play up at Central Catholic in Toledo. Whitmer, the top seed there, starts a seven seed, as you see in that district. Start beat Whitmer earlier this year. So that's going to be interesting to see how that all plays out. Start playing a great game. Beat Whitmer here. And a foul called. This will be on the Spartans, who were just so close to creating a turnover. Glenn picks up the foul, his second, team five. They just had to reach around him just enough to put some contact in there. Gonna have to figure this out a little bit better though. They've had some close encounters in the last three times. Now settling into the half court. Down low for Bishop. Pops out to the corner. Montgomery coming inside. That pass behind him taken away. Lima Senior. Cotton fakes the three. Drive inside and can't quite get the basket to go. Amari Addy, but he's headed to the free throw line. Two shots with the clock stopped. 
And that's what you want to do if you're Lima Senior for sure. You know, that's why you pull it away from that three-point attempt, get it to the guy driving the basket, get that foul, and get the points while you, you know, you've got the clock stopped. Wyrock is third foul. And now Addy hits the free throw. Point. Now the 0 for point. 7 from the field I see tonight for yeah. Addy. He's had some chances at the rim. Just haven't been dropping, but he does make two free throws. And Spartans trying to inch their way back here. Now down just 12, foul in the backcourt on Bishop. Zion Jackson commits the foul. Team six, both these teams with six fouls. So shooting the rest of the way here on the next foul. We've got Finley at a 78% team free throw percentage. Montgomery goes down. And that ball's on the sideline, turnover Trojans. So here come the Spartans. And they force Montgomery into the backcourt a couple times and he has not been comfortable handling the ball, getting it out of Bishop's hands. So Seth Finley's got to figure something out here because their last four or five times that they've had to bring the ball up the court has really been a challenge for them. You know, Lima Senior's quickness and long arms really disrupted him trying to bring it in. Moore. Tough Whoa. finish off the glass. Brandon Moore hits it. It's down to 10. Bishop still in the backcourt. Ernst. Wyrock stolen away by Cotton as they were cutting inside. Up the floor for Hutchins, he rises. And hits oh, a three. Out. Jagger Hutchins. It's a seven point game with 420 to go. Coach Rookie letting him play it out for right now. He hasn't called anything, any timeout or anything. Or Donier missed the three and a timeout taken by Finley. This is getting chaotic. And that's exactly what works for Lima Senior. Hutchins says, why not? Drills the triple try. Seven point game, which frankly, Dar didn't seem possible a couple minutes ago that we yeah. would see Lima Senior maybe even get within 10, but their pressure has been relentless. It certainly has, and you know, Finley just having a hard time getting across that midcourt, you know, without the pressure. And even when they do get across there, they've extended a lot of energy to do it, and then their passes aren't crisp for the other guys, and Lima Senior able to break it up and get that steal and take it away. You know, but a great shot there by Jagger Hudson. You know, a second three-pointer of the night. He's now got, you know, eight points on the night. But boy, that was a clean shot from the outside for him. And big for, for Lima Seniors. You know, Finley's got to figure out some way to break this pressure of Lima Seniors cleanly and not, you know, work themselves into a, a hole, which they've had done the last four or five times they've had the ball down there. No quit in Coach Q's troops. They're playing hard. And you look up, it's only a seven point game. And there is so much time left in this game. 4.15, Montgomery sheds a defender. Great closeout defense though from the Spartans, not allowing a three. Drive, Wyrock is fouled. Jackson was really riding him there defensively. It'll be a one and one. Oh, we've seen this all night long. A lot of contact between these two teams and the referees letting them play it out, you know. And that one there, you know, you had to call that one there because you had no choice. He was laying all over the top of him. But, you know, they're letting them play it through and, you know, both teams just battling. Wyrock two for two from the line tonight. Five points. And that one falls. Three for three now. Another Lee's famous recipe, chicken free throw. Locations in Lima, Wapak, and Delphus. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's famous recipe, chicken. One style happens here. Y Rock gets both. That's kind of back to nine. Kept the tide a little bit there. Stop this momentum. The Lima senior is starting to build and build. Cotton down low. Mosley, nice slice to the rim. Mosley with five points. That was a really nice you know, pass to Mosley coming through there. Right back to Bishop. 
Finley smartly navigated that full court pressure this time. Drive, and a foul on Hutchins. And Sam Ertz was going up in the painted area. Hutchins following the play, picks up the foul. Two shots coming up. Yeah, Ernst knew the minute he got in there, got around the one defender and Hutchins and went to the basket that you can draw a foul on that one. He's going to double team and he knew he didn't have much of a clean shot, but he knew he could get the foul. Sam Ernst just three for five from the line this season. Coming into tonight, now two for three. And all of these are huge when you're trying to stem the tide Impressive Lima senior surge and Ernst smooth as silk on both. As I was saying, if you come down to free throw shooting, you know, you got a 78% free throw shooting team in Finley, 61% free throw shooting team in Lima senior. Cotton off the screen. Mosley in the corner. Driving kick nearly worked the ball away from Brandon Moore. Moore spins inside, tough shot over the top, rebound for Montgomery. He pulls that one down, big stop for the Trojans. Under three to go. Ball popped out, recovered by Wyrock. Another near steal. Great job of just recovering on that one. Another timeout by Finley. Smart call, they saw the pressure coming and Ernst was trapped. A full timeout, we'll take it. WOSN. Timeouts are brought to you by Metzger Financial Services, helping you plan your financial future. Visit MetzgerFinancialServices.com. Our scoreboard tonight presented by Web Insurance Agency, serving Lima and Allen County for more than 100 years with offices in downtown Lima and Bluffton. Exciting action here tonight at Finley, 53-44 Trojans in the lead, and also an exciting upcoming schedule of games here on WOSN. Saturday, Some games to watch out for. Dolphus Jefferson, Spencerville, Dolphus St. John's, Marion Local. Some replays from tonight's games. Crestview Van Wert as well, a 10 o'clock contest all on WOSN. Bishop inside, blocked, shot by Moore. Bishop's been rejected at the rim a couple times in this half. You know, he's still making those drives to the basket though. Great job here, blocking that shot. Travel on Montgomery. Number 13 turnover for Finley. Most of those in the second half. And it's been a rough half for Montgomery. That pressure has phased him at times from Lima Senior. 2.38 to go, a nine point game. Still in many ways probably going to come down to free throw shooting from the Trojans. Still time for the Spartans. Kicked it out to Cotton. Now Brandon Moore will drive inside. And puts oh, it nice up and in. Shot. Brandon Moore patiently waiting. And He's made the basket. A couple times. Back down to seven. That's the closest Lima Senior has cut the lead. Montgomery across Bishop all alone. We'll try a three. And wouldn't fall down. Montgomery, nice rebound inside. Wyrock with the floater. That was just a great ball movement by, by Finley on that one there. Hutchins off the front of the rim. Montgomery foul by Mosley. The first foul, and we'll see plenty of fouls coming down the stretch here. Yeah, and like we said, friendly, you know, this is what they want. They want to get to the foul line. It's a team that thrives at the foul line. 183 complete and made out of 235 free throws coming into this game. Oh, stayed down <laughs> for Montgomery. Oh, Lee's famous recipe chicken free throw. Locations in Lima, Wapak, and Delphus call Lee's for all your catering needs. His famous recipe chicken home style happens here. Montgomery sinks both. That's his first two points of the game, too. Great time for him. The lead is back to double figures, 57-46. Shot, quite spin in, in the trees. Kick out there, Cotton the three. 
too strong. Rebound and tipped out of bounds. Lima Senior will have it. Amari Addy working down low there. Lost him a couple times. And again, that, you know, the ball just isn't falling for him when it gets on the inside like that. It's hitting off the side of the rims, but it's not been able to get over the rim. Hutchins, that three did not fall. Hutchins gives it off. And a bump on Jake Bishop. Picks up the foul, his first. Yeah, that's hard to believe too, isn't it? Mm -hmm. His first foul. With the defense he plays, <laughs> absolutely. Cotton one for two from the line tonight and he will have a one and one situation. Have to hope for a flurry of turnovers now and some missed free throws if you're a Spartan fan. Now you're start. In a situation where you're going to have to foul the Trojans and where you really didn't want to get in that predicament. The Trojans will take playing from the lead with their high level of shooting from the line. Cotton has made three in a row from the line. It's three out of four. Bishop up the near sideline and lobbed it down low. Cordonia the layup. Believe it or not, that's his first two-point <laughs> basket of the night. And a block called on Finland. That foul on Sam Ernst, his second. And it will be Glenn going to the line for the Spartans. 17 points for Condorier and, and Condorier is just, you know, first two point basket of the night is just amazing <laughs> for the big guy that's six foot five. Sinks the first. Bishop harassed all the way and just finds Cordonier inside for the finish. Second. True from Glenn. Back to nine, but only a minute to go. Armed up the knee, far side. Ernst being chased, and they roll it into the backcourt. So we picked up by Finley, missed on the pass, and that's a turnover. So the senior will get it back. Some life here. Three possession game, but you only have 53 seconds left to go. many points as possible in a hurry. And we'll have it inbound on the baseline, the right of the basket. I'm into Mosley. Mosley, nice spin and score. He's done that several times tonight. He's got that really nice move on the inside like that. Quick timeout, seven, seven point game of 48 seconds remaining. Just a 30 second timeout. Timeout's brought to you by Metzger Financial Services. Hoping you plan your financial future. Visit MetzgerFinancialServices.com. Still very impressed with this Lima Senior rally, even if it does come up short tonight. Certainly worth it, the effort wise. Busy schedule coming up next week on WOSN. Coldwater, Delphus, Jefferson, Wayne Trace, Allen East, Coldwater, LCC. Those are games you are not going to want to miss here coming up. Of course, those are games that will be played on Saturday night. And of course, Bluffton, Allen East squaring off against one another. On the boys' side, Salina and Bath, Shawnee, Wapakoneta. WOSN staying busy the next no, few days, I'll to say the what. least. It comes tournament time, we're everywhere. <laughs> Plenty of great teams to follow. Only heating up. And I agree with you, Kevin. This, this comeback by Lima Senior, even if it falls short, has really been outstanding and something they can really hang their hat on. The fact that they can do that and put that kind of pressure on somebody. Wyrock fouled in a very precarious spot right on the baseline, double teamed, and then had a third guy, essentially the sideline, working against him. 
third foul on Glenn. Wyrock to the line for the Trojans. Again, an 84% free throw shooter. No doubt about it. Smooth as silk. Five for five tonight from the line for Wyrock. And in fact, he now has double digit points up to 10. A field goal in each half and make it 11. Nine point game with 40 seconds to go. And a block shot. Mosley gets it out, Cotton, three. Didn't make it to the rim, saved in. Montgomery to Hutchins, and Bishop <laughs> wins the battle somehow, coming out with it. He's fouled by Amari Addy, and Finley's starting to sense it now at 26.9 remaining. Who else comes out of that scrum but Jake Bishop with the basketball? Yeah, and how he did it, I have no idea, because you didn't even see him in there for a second there, and he just kind of comes out with it. Kind of like a football scrum, you know. Bishop with the other 84% free throw shooter. You know it. Gives him 20 so far for the night. Free throws brought to you by Lee's famous recipe chicken. One more for Bishop to make it an 11 point game, no doubt to an 11 point lead, inside drive, Glasser no, tip up yes, Anthony Mosley. Quick foul again, that's Bishop, he was fouled, 16.4. Mosley's had a nice second half too, he's got seven points in the second half, nine for the game. How about all that, too? Yeah, District semis that. from Elida on Thursday night will be shown next Friday. And the girls' semi from Paulding as well. Sports report will be live as per the usual. Piqua, D4 sectional final, D3 sectional final from Elida. Game two, just try keeping up <laughs> at this point. Are you tired yet, Kevin? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just amazed. The games I, just keep I know, coming. I know Ben and all of his crew are going to be tired. <laughs> Bishop, if you weren't paying close attention, which you should be, but Bishop only made one out of two there. Standing O for Jake Bishop. What a night. What a performance. Leading the way for the Trojans to what will be a senior night victory over Lima Senior. And the Trojans going to sweep the season series from the Spartans, a tough task. Stolen away by senior Chandler Parker. Oh, well, he booted okay. it and Cotton takes it away. Down low Mosley, kicks it out. Three ball in the air, short. Rebound Cordonier, and that is the ball game. The Finley Trojans win this 64-54 through to 15 and seven, 10 and four in track play. Lima Senior drops to 15 and seven, eight and six in Three Rivers Athletic Conference play. That's your final score on the Web Insurance scoreboard. Presented by Web Insurance Agency serving Lima and Allen County for more than 100 years. Offices in downtown Lima and Bluffton. What a performance tonight by the Trojans, Mr. Number uh, It really was. I mean, and what a performance by Lima Senior to come back in this game because it really looked like Finley was going to blow them out there for a while. You know, they had everything hitting, clicking in the first half. Lima Senior again, not very well in the third quarter. Fourth quarter, they just came back and just took it all. But, you know, Finley just held on, got enough points, were able to break the press enough to win this ball game. This was a 47-27 game at the end of three quarters. Looked like it was done for sure, but Lima Senior battled its way all the way back to within several seven points on several occasions, but couldn't quite finish it off. And that's how it all wraps up as the Trojans get the win tonight. Thanks so much for joining us for this presentation of high school boys basketball on WOSN. For our entire fantastic crew headed up by Ben Reif, and my partner Darn Evergo, I'm Kevin Peel saying good night from Finley High School. The Trojans win on senior night and finish their campaign, regular season campaign on a high note. Good night everyone. <laughs>